Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nash and I'm back with another ROM review. But this time is for my OnePlus 3. After keeping my OnePlus 3 virgin for almost 6 months, I decided I can't wait more for Nougat. So I decided to flash Resurrection Remix as the first ROM for my OnePlus 3 because it's very famous and it's old in the game. By the way, the Oxygen OS is the best stock ROM ever. So this ROM is based on Android 7.1.1 and CM 14.1 and it's pre-rooted. And as I said earlier, this ROM is very old in the game and it's filled with features. Like there are so many features that you can brag about it all day. Once upon a time, a genius man said that great features come with less battery life and more random reboots, which I will explain later on. All the features are put in one tab and features are status bar customization, notification panel, recent app customization, network traffic indicators, heads up disable or enable, synergy mode privacy guard, gestures and animations, and 100 other features. Like you can have 4G written over the top instead of LTE, amazing fling mode, on-screen navigation replacement and one life saving feature is when you are downloading something on Wi-Fi as soon as you leave Wi-Fi zone it will automatically pause. ROM can update itself automatically it means there is OTA updates in build. I kind of miss Synergen mode theme engine in all the CM14 based ROMs but the good news is Substratum is working properly. And now time for some bad news means some negative things about the ROM. You cannot disable one SIM icon from status bar. Sometimes the fingerprint sensor goes offline. One small annoying thing is dash charging is working but it doesn't say dash charging on lock screen. Means whenever I use third party cable, I won't be able to know am I getting dash charge or normal charge. There is snapdragon camera inside and it takes too long to process the image. Basically this camera sucks. Oxygen OS camera was much smoother and better in photo quality. As I said earlier, this room is filled with so many features that it can't handle it. Battery life was average. I got around 4 hours of screen on time. I used it for 3 days and I had 4 random reboots. I would give 3 out of 5 only for its features. The OnePlus One version of this room is far better than this one. I won't consider it as a daily driver but if you still want to flash it, the link will be down below. Please don't forget to like my Facebook page to never miss a video. More OnePlus 3 and OnePlus One rooms are coming soon. Hit the thumbs up if this video was helpful to you and I will see you next time.